Today, Kim is punching the gunch for midsummer largemouths. The word gunch is an all-purpose term Kim uses to describe a mixture of floating, matted vegetation. In this case, to be precise, the gunch consists of matted coontail and milfoil, covered by a blanket of fresh pond scum. The combination makes an overhead canopy which provides shade and security to bass and bluegills alike. Oh, that's a good one. I think oh, it's got a lot of grass. It's both. Oh. <laughs> when you find them, you're on them. That's no question. Right, look at that. Just jammed in his jaw. Mm -hmm. The Rage Menace Grub. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna let you go where, you know, the bigger ones I let go gently, it seems. That's something how they get in just cer certain areas and they school up in this stuff. You can fish a whole bunch of it and not get anything, but you find the one little sweet spot Fun, fun, fun. Thanks for joining us today. I think you'll be surprised to know just how many bass can pack under those mats and in such a tight area. It became apparent that I'd stumbled upon a school of bass that had worked its way under the shady canopy of matted weeds and pond scum and that they were obviously in a feeding mode, ready to strike a lure presented within close proximity. That's the deal, is you'll find a specific patch where you'll, where you'll catch a few anyway, where they group up. I know there's more, because I had more bites. Get down there. <laughs> oh, that is a riot. That is a riot. It is fun, there's no question. No question. And that is a big hook to get out. So how'd you like those underwater strike shots? Getting close enough to capture strike shots in the wild without spooking the bass is not an easy task, especially when it comes to largemouths. But it's well worth the determined effort because there's instructional value to the video, far beyond just a cool shot. We can learn so much by closely examining all our underwater observations. It was interesting here, though, to witness visually the bass's reaction but most notably was that all the strike shots we captured had one thing in common. They all came on the upswing as the menace grub darted off the bottom. In fact, after reviewing all our catches that day, I noticed that I never got a single bite as the lure fell. Whether on the first hop or following a few hops, all my strikes came on the upswing. This is something you can benefit from Pay attention as to when, where, and how your strikes come to help fine tune your presentation. Our underwater footage also gave us an opportunity to see how the black color of the Seaguar flippin' braid blends in with the vegetation. Let's watch this again in slow motion. On the left side of the screen, you'll notice the menace grub's rage tails kicking as it falls, then buries in the bottom sediment. But can you detect the flippin' braid? Nope. Well, it's quite apparent that neither do the bass. Wait for it. Boop, there it is. Let's just let him go.
You can see how that wind's blowing me. It's positioned me nice, but then when I get to where I want to be, double tap the power poles and cover every inch of it. <laughs> That's not a bad fish. Oh, not bad. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Little old menace scrub. Hard to beat. Hard to beat. A nice chunky fish, huh? Very nice fish. Uh-huh. Right out of that thick stuff. All righty. We'll let you go right back to your swamp. That. Let's let's look with the aqua view under the mat and see what we can see. See how open it is. A little different view. Uh, twist it, twist it out of the view. Oh, up, 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 up. There's the bluegill. Oh, you can see. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Is that cool? Is that cool? Ah, oh, that bass come right up to it. But it shows the bluegills and everything in here. Oh, this is, this is incredible. You can learn so much with an AquaView camera. If you're a bass fisherman and you don't have an AquaView camera, you are really messing up, man. This, you can hook and look and you can learn so much. The AquaView confirmed that the bass were indeed stacked in this area and that it was the presence of bluegill they were focused on, which later was confirmed by what the bass spit up. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. That's what we've been looking for. That is so, so awesome. So, so, so awesome. The old menace scrub. It is one of the best little flipping baits, especially to get to slither it through this slime. It goes, penetrates it so nice. And you catch big old things. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I let you go. I saw you on my aqua view, you know that. <laughs>